Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HardBotElectronics.com. Here we have another Heathkit SB200, already has a bunch of HardBot kits in it. So I'm going to go through it, change the parasitic suppressor resistors, grid loading resistors, their original mica caps, compress the socket clips, clean the socket clips, clean the band switch, clean the other rotary switch up here that's padding capacitance, the plate tune, air variable capacitor. Show you the bottom. I can do it without. Her box soft start. Let's not have the soft key. No. Clean the TR relay. Someone already put a SO239 for the input jack. Oh, it does have soft key. What am I talking about? <laughs> Um, so, I'm going to get to work, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed SB200. Replace the grid loading resistors. The ones are around here somewhere. Here's one of them. I always put 2-watt carbon comp 33 ohm resistors in. I always check the tolerance. Mine are usually right at like 34 ohms. Um, I make sure they're pretty close to each other. So uh, I always use carbon cops. They're the best type to use, least amount of inductance. So change the mica caps, 200 PF mica caps. I compressed all the socket clips, sprayed deoxid gold on them, and the, on you know inside the clips, and then put some deoxid gold on a dummy tube and on the pins, and then pushed them in, in and out four or five times each to clean them. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Clean the output rotary switch with deoxy gold and the other rotary switch. Zip tied all the wiring. I, I changed the meter lamp bulb. The clips that hold it in place, I spread them outwards. I take the bulb out, spread them outwards just so it's nice and snug. I zip tie it so this won't fall out and touch a high voltage point. Customer added these. So he has the screws I have here that go in and they, they're nice and tight. So change the parasitic suppressors. He actually had the wrong gauge wire. And uh, I always change them. So 51 ohm resistors. They read like 52 ohms. And they soldered real good. Oil the fan and I'll show you the bottom. Okay, so here's the bottom. Oiled the fan. Clean the tear relay contacts. Checked resistor values to make sure they're within tolerance. Clean the multimeter switch with deoxic gold. Checked everything else. Everything else looks good. So, checked it. Works on all the bands. I'm going to replace this wire. I haven't done that yet. See, it's really small gauge wire. Really teeny weeny. So, I'll show you the tubes that he sent with it. Notice how anode lead coming from the cap ends up connecting to the plate straight. You see the filament leads. Those are the springy things. They're not near it. Okay, so here's the second tube. See how it's shifted sideways? Look at the anode lead. Dangerously close to the filament. So, I think this happened during shipping. Uh, it looked like it was they were boxed okay on the way to me, but most likely happened um, between him and the person he bought it from, because the person he bought it from provided these tubes. So, I always check everything, and the SO two thirty nines check out okay. So. This thing is good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, my other website is Harbach Electronics. So I just use number 14 solid for these connections and number 14 solid copper for the parasitic expressors, and I wind them by hand myself. I make them. 
made here in the shop. So, again, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Oh, got a phone call. Kitchen. Just wanted to show you that I changed the jumper wires. So, brand new. Right. 73.